welcome back to my channel my name is Yvonne and guess what today we are making we are making tacos today we are going to Mexico yeah we are going to Mexico let's wash our hands Let me introduce you to our ingredients. I have freshly baked tacos, corn flour tacos. See how beautiful they look? Yeah, I know right. I have chopped chicken. I don't have minced meat, so I got some soft chicken and I chopped them up into pieces. I have um, tomatoes green pepper onions i love onions so i like to use a lot of them pear carrot so our pan is hot um let's add a little oil Oops, see that's quite a lot We're going to add in our chicken. My food very spicy. You can add as much as you want. It's what you want and how you want to do it. As I always say, food doesn't have a formula. You can make food suit you. You can do your food for it to be amazing. How best you want it. So we can add some black pepper. I have some rainbow peppercorns. So I need to add that. I want it to be very spicy. That's enough. So earlier I was telling you that I baked taco shells. These are taco shells. This is where our feelings are going to go. It's easy to make. If you want me to make a video on how to make this yummies, just write it in the comment below and I'll just do it. I'll just get on to that. I think I need more garlic. I love garlic too. Tacos are generally supposed to be spicy and spicy and a little bit sweet because of this acidity from the lime that we put on it before we eat makes it taste different. So you have 
spicy going on, sweet, sour, a combination of taste. That's the whole point. So let's have a look at. This is our chicken now. Our parsley, dried parsley made it turn this way, but it's it's okay, it's very fine. Now, we are going to put this aside so that we can work on our vegetables. So oil in here. I'm just going to toss the onions in here. We don't want it to be... Okay, so our pan is a little bit dry. We are going to add a little bit more oil. Just a little bit. in a green pepper simple to do when like you get your way around it and the vegetables should be chopped finely you see i don't have oil underneath my pan because i'm not a fan of so much oil so and i, I wouldn't want my vegetables to be all soggy i want to hear the crunch when i dig in our uh, tomatoes Amazing. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, goodness. I feel so excited. So we are done here. That's all. You don't need it. It doesn't take so much time. It's just simple like that. We are done. Now we can put our heat off. We are done. Now let's work on a pear. I'm going to tell you what we are going to do to it. Okay guys, so our chicken is ready. Our salsa is ready. Now let's make our guacamole. And now we need pear for the guacamole. We need lime. We need a little bit of cream to make it very mushy and creamy we're going to mash our pear we need to add a little bit of cream to it to make him organ my cream is not enough so i'm just going to try and get what i can from the container. You need to mash it so you can see how creamy it will be and this will be a topping for our tacos. Now let's add our 
I'm going to put my hand here so I can sieve the seeds from the lime. As I said, the lime gives it a sour taste. So you have sweet, sour, peppery, spicy, a whole lot going in there, which makes the taco very unique. Now let's continue our mashing. Mash, 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 mash. Mash, 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 mash. Mash, mash. My hair was not so ripe. It was ripe, but it was hard ripe. So you can see the lumps in it, but it's just fine. It's fine. Our guacamole is ready. And who knows my favorite part of cooking? That is plated. Let's get our taco shells. Our guacamole. Our salsa. Our chicken. And I chopped a little yellow peppers. If you want it. So first, our chicken goes in there. Because it's going to be filled up, you just add a little. Then our salsa. Oopsie. Okay. Now our uh, guacamole. Oops. Uh. Here you have it. Hey guys. <sighs> one, two, three, four. Which one should I take? Okay, so I'm going to dig into this and get some chilled juice to top it up. So give me a thumbs up subscribe don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you want me to do a video on how to make the taco shells so voila so there you have it nice tasty tacos ready to be munched into how a 